Hello again, Game Replays. This is James, and I'm gonna shoutcast a game here between myself and a player called Undefeated. And this game is a special game because I have recorded a first person video from my own perspective. So let's get into it. Starting now. Okay. So I tried out Justin TV live broadcasting, and this is what turned out of that testing. <laughs> Quite an uh, epic long game here on longer. And as you can see, I'm on my terror commander, and I'm gonna play an infantry player. Starting here in the south, building my Wehrmacht quarters there. I'm probably gonna, yeah, I'm, I want to build that heavy MG to get early pressure on his rifleman. I'm gonna shut, shut with the jeep. That's a buddy of mine. Shut a bit with him. And in this game, I'm gonna talk about what I did wrong and what I could have done better and what I'm doing in general in the game you can see here I'm capping going for the fuel on the left here I can see him capping the, that point already so I should uh, get my MG out there and uh, force those engineers off that point you can see here I, I'm gonna get out of range and then set up my MG and suppress him and then cap the point. Here we go, set up the MG. And he retreats before it, it even opens fire. So, smart play by him, he knows he does doesn't need to take extra casualties from staying in the fight there. So I'm gonna reposition my MG. Cause I know, uh, and he knows too that my MG was over there. So better try to set it up somewhere else where it can suppress on suppress on another squad. Well, you can see here I saw that the rifleman bit early so I could set up in time but he saw that too so he uh, decided to run away which is again smart by him and this is quite high level play I think I've been uh, playing CH since I think two, 2007 something like that so I'm pretty good with company players in general. I forgot to mention that I put a, put down a creeping trap on the fuel there, so I can do, could delay him from capping and uh, force him off again with my MG. You can see it here, and it's gonna be suppressed. And probably retreat as soon as he realizes that his squad is suppressed. Got another MG squad out now. Oh, he managed to decap the new blueprint, which was su uh, successful. That was a su successful uh, harass, I mean. Setting up my MGs. In different directions. I wanna. Ah, uh, he managed to cap the fuel, but well, he's gonna take some casualties on the retreat there. Uh, so I have control of one fuel point at the moment. 
And my plan is to get uh, fast Pumas out. Because I know those are tearing people apart <laughs> uh, in, in this game. I mean, in Sewage Online. Hey, engineers trying to flank my MG, but they're going to be unsuccessful. Because there are several scoundrels defending the MG. Okay, so this uh, MG is going to get flanked by riflemen from the north and the south, so I had to retreat that squad. Also, those few pioneers need to get out of there, and they do. So, I'm gonna try and delay him even more here on the right hand side. <coughs> As you can see, I, I um, control both medium fuels in the one in the west and one in the southeast. So, I'm gonna have a, a fuel advantage over my opponent. And that is important to, because I I said I was going for Pumas. And it is going to be even more effective when my opponent doesn't have proper counters for it or a proper fuel income. Once again, fending off rifleman from the from the viewpoint. And <laughs> more riflemen walking into creeping traps. Interesting there. Um, you can see now I got seal available. As it is one of my commander abilities. And there we go, tier 3 tier three is going up. I hope that MG sets up in time. Oh. But he goes down to the... To the... Grenade and... <laughs> you can also see those engineers walking into the mine and the whole squad actually dies. I'm just shooting up the house in the west there. And to counter all those weapons, I decided to build a sniper. Uh, afterwards, I think that that was a mistake. Oh, nice miner trying to walk into the house. Uh, it was a mistake because. Infantry, they got the ability to camouflage whenever they want and camouflaged riflemen. As you can see there, they can just tear snipers apart immediately. And this time, my sniper is gonna make it. Yep. No, he. Oh. <laughs> I forgot that he died. So he he didn't even yeah he killed one guy I think. He recaptured the MG that uh, my opponent killed earlier. So it was 340 manpower down the drain. Now my Puma's out, and I don't know if he got stickies available yet. I don't think so, and I want to build more Pumas, you can see I queued up one more there. Because uh, Pumas in the early game are really effective. And I have only seen riflemen on the field so far, and they got bars, so his, uh, his taking choices aren't that good against my, my taking choices. Because tier 3 is very good <laughs> against the bars. He should have gone for an, uh, motor pool to counter me better. But you can always go, go for stickies and mines instead of going for motor pool. And 
managed to get to my improvement stick in there was that was unnecessary I think. But hey <laughs> Pumas aren't super easy to micro at all times. They do some stupid war dancing or what what you're gonna call it. Getting some long range shots off from on the riflemen and they are oof they don't like Puma Fire Rifleman. But he, uh, the American player do have sticky bombs available now, so he does have a counter for it. Getting my Nibla out to, uh, to suppress those riflemen even more. As my uh, MG teams aren't that good against Camelot barred riflemen. I will look at those casualties from the rifle squadron. Four casualties in, uh, in one second. I'm gonna chase, chase down that rifleman and I killed it. You can, you can see he's <laughs> making a comment there. Dot nine, I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna do some uh, recon here, see what Tekken he does have. And I can see I have some motor pool and a barracks. So I'm probably gonna build an AT gun or an MA to counter my Pumas. I see that he have an OP on the right field there. I'm gonna fend off the, those right men on the left, left hand side. Um, you mean why like call in a terror officer? Oh, Puma's gonna go down because it got sticky. I have no chance to survive from that. Here we go, another sticky. Meanwhile, I capped the middle victory point to get some drain on him. You can see I don't have so much victory points we only got 339 so he has I'm a pretty far behind at this point I use my terror officer to cap some points this is a long game so I'm gonna take a quick drink of water Oh, that's good. <clears throat> okay, so the Nibel fired and probably fend off those riflemen who were harassing earlier. Oh, there's one squad left though. And my Volkskarners, they have to retreat because they don't like close combat fire against barn riflemen. But my Puma can always come and help out. As you can see, the Rifleman retreat immediately. And I had a problem with my terror officer here. Here, he didn't, he didn't want to cloak properly. So you can see he was walking slowly, but he wasn't cloaked. So I don't know what's going, what was going on there. Maybe it was a mine. I don't know. As you know, mines can detect cloaked units. And yeah, that's that's pretty stupid or Yeah, I, I think it's stupid, but well whatever whatever. It's a game mechanic I guess. And put down some more mines here in the middle area because I know those strikemen are walking around there all the time. Oh, we have our AT gun out in the field now. Got some veterans here in my Puma as well, so... Oof! Nice uh, mine damage from that... On, on that rifleman, and they have to <laughs> retreat. Doesn't look like he has uh, healing on his uh, base yet. I mean, uh, the Triarch Center. 
So riflemen with low health walking into mines are devastating for him at the moment. I prob he probably should get the triage center up soon. You pioneers, nothing to say. Have nothing to say against <laughs> those bar riflemen. So they are just treating me with them. I don't know why I built more pioneers. Okay, I'm thinking at this point I wanted a repair bunker there in the back. No, oh, you can you could see those um, yeah, engineers laying a mine there. Stick of me to look away while while they were. Putting it down and, and what was, I walked straight into it. Oh, my MG doesn't die here. I got two, 200 units ready for an. Uh, uh, for an V1 V1 <laughs> rocket. I have problems saying that. I don't know. Here we go. It's gonna be thrown down after him. In his base, annoying rifle squad here in the south. Almost taken out my my needle worker. I'm trying to kill off the squad by doing some uh, annoying movement with my Pumas. The B1 didn't actually kill anything. And I missed the blast, <laughs> so no uh, fireworks for you guys. So about that, this is a first-person uh, cast, so didn't take notice of everything that happened in the game. And of course, you can't in a in a normal shotgun either, though. So, yep. Uh, my terror officer is. Oh, hey, we got some already on my unfinished bunker. I managed to get my Pumas out of the fire. Uh, the whole hedge uh, in the north of my base gets annihilated. And also the bunker, which was up unupgraded, so not a big problem over here. Um as they reset up in G. Just pinning those squads trying to cap the um, plus sixteen unit points in the west. And I got my grenadiers out now because I was preparing for M eight or even um even Sherman's. Ah <laughs> one grenade and <laughs> takes out the whole squad of this is the whole energy squad. Three uh, squads of pioneers cap. Uh, I mean, repairing uh, Puma are quite effective. And very effective needlework for fire there too in the middle, turning off those riflemen. Okay, so he still does only have riflemen and AT guns. And, um, oh, my father and Asian G team is completed. I don't think that was the best idea. Oh, even touching my this there we are. And, uh, as you know, Pumas are very hard to hit. Even with AT guns. I got veterans to level 2 now for my Pumas. And they are gonna be hard to kill. Oh, we got a nice hit there. <clears throat> Single grenadier firing away at an AT gun. I was I wanted to kill that. Oh I did I did kill. Killed uh, the whole gunner and 
the squad dies with the gun, so everything. Oh, there got destroyed. And uh, as I said earlier, I wanted to kill those AT guns so I get, could have free reign with my Pumas. Because without AT guns, I could uh, just kite uh, the rifleman at the range. And that is very effective. You can see here, I'm just gonna drive around with my Pumas. I'm gonna put down some more mines. In case there are uh, more uh, cloaked uh, right now, as you can see there in the left, my terror officer got killed because of those cloaked riflemen. And I got a sniper out. Uh, I got mines in the middle, so the sniper is very covered against. Those uh, cloaked, uh, cloaked riflemen. So that's why I decided to do that. I'm going after the AT gun, trying to kill it once again so I could <laughs> go out with my uh, Pumas and uh, just kill, uh, kill all infantry forces in the, in the field. But there's a lot of riflemen <laughs> out now. I, had, I really need to suppress, process, I mean, suppress them in some way, so I need to move up my new worker and also my my engineer. You can see he's pressing two spots here. More, more traps and more Puma fire. <laughs> Good. Holy shit, those uh, riflemen take a lot of damage. Oh, just <laughs> three squads just walking over those pioneers. I didn't have the time to uh, get, the, uh, get them out in time. Backing up, kiting those riflemen with pretty much shooting at the same time. Very common tactic. Ah, uh, over there, uh, quite a late retreat. Oh, my sniper and the ass. It's a mistake. So those uh, guys are gonna get suppressed now by my need worker. And he's probably gonna realize that and do the retreat. And medics, they need to be killed because I know he got at least one free squad from that. From that uh, medic station he built there in front of his base. Very smart move because he has come from infantry heavy uh, strategy. Harassing riflemen in the left are gonna get suppressed by my MG. I hope they. No, they decided. Oh, well, I, they're probably gonna get uh, outflanked, so I decided to retreat instead of. Resetting up, I guess. <clears throat> I'm gonna take another sip of water here, and excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so, um, I got a. I'm actually in the lead in victory points right now. So. Continue to capture the VPs to even drain, drain the VPs even more. And a repair bunker going down in the southern strap point. If I remember correctly, it didn't survive that long because of artillery from their commander abilities from my opponent. Here we go, there is the uh, artillery. And uh, Kaboom goes to the bunker. <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna recapture the left hand side view and the good ones. 
<laughs> that artillery is still going. Holy shit. Another D1 getting thrown down by me now. <clears throat> you can see he's gonna start moving his uh, troops away from the grass zone. He realizes that it's gonna be in front of his barracks. While I. Uh, and there's comes damage. I decided to do that because you usually reinforce in front of your barracks. And if he had any squads here, they would be annihilated by the D1 rocket. And actually, I didn't kill a single man from that D1 rocket, though. So, I just killed a medic station, I think, and a barracks. So, okay, strike, I guess. 200 units, so whatever it costs to come down it. I got a lot of units from that um, high muni point, so no problem for me, for me there. Uh, more needle fire in the middle. Needles are actually pretty good to clear out a T guns if you didn't know that. And. Uh, Afterwards, you can always run your grenadiers in there and try and kill off the gun of the AT gun. As I said earlier, if you kill the gun, the whole crew are gonna die with it. So, it's pretty effective to try and kill the gun sometimes instead of just killing the crew manning it. There's some. some uh, Locations where that is more effective than actually killing the crew man. Okay, so I got my King Tiger out on the field now. Um, it's gonna be King Tigers and Pumas, Need Workers versus Riflemen and AT Guns. It's starting to take fire, but. <laughs> As you can see, they walk into a mine put them by me earlier. So, they don't have to retreat. Who was taking some fire from the AT guns? Hmm. I'm just harassing wherever I can with my grenadiers and the boots grenadiers. He has a lot of AT guns at the moment, I think he has at least three of them. And that is a problem because then my Pumas aren't that effective. They are against they are effective uh, against single AT guns. But when there's too many of them they aren't that effective. <laughs> Funny that my prime knows that, that they actually managed to kill that ATM by themselves. Pretty sloppy response from my opponent. Um, <laughs> pioneers shouldn't be able to kill ATMs when there's so many riflemen on the field from Undefeatable, as his name is. Uh, I don't have uh, veterans for my needle worker, so it takes quite a long time for it to recharge. Let's uh, cool down. Ooh. Should move that Puma out of the way. <laughs> Shot misses there. More needle fire. It's going to be very effective here in, in, the, in these fights. Trying to, to get some bonuses out from my seal ability. As you know, seal ability works only from squads who are in, in or not in full capacity. If there are four men 
four men. <laughs> what am, what am I saying? If there are four men left in the Vox Grenier squad, they are gonna be shooting faster and have more hit points and so on. Okay, those <laughs> Tigans are quite alone in the north, so I try to snipe them with my answer shrinks. Backed up with my Kuma there. But Kuma needs to back up because now there's two and seven. He can't take so much fire. He's just a Kuma after all. And my AT, and I mean my MG team there in the in the southern are positioned quite nicely, I think. They can't be flanked from the back, but from the far right they can. So that is to prevent from prevent the riflemen from coming and doing annoying. Super flanking as they can with, <laughs> with uh, infantry company. I mean, in 